Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 8 September. I found it very, very interesting. A lot of the sentiment indicators, uh, particularly the IG sentiment indicator, which is the one that I, I follow most regularly. I don't think it's important which one you follow. It's just important that you follow the same one. Uh, over a period of time so you can understand the nuances of it but um, boy for the first time in a long time the market is not short uh, S&P's not short not short stocks the biggest bearish bet is on Kiwi which is kind of a risk off but um, it's been a long time since uh, that group wasn't in the 70 to 80 percent short mark now they're in the sort of almost 50 50 60 60 40 kind of a thing which is just basically neutral the only reason i bring it up is um equities really can't go down when sort of that quasi retail group and i consider ig a mix a lot of professionals use ig um or retired professionals, or I would say people who know what they're doing, um, but also a lot of retail uses it, sort of. So it gives you like a mixed sentiment indicator. Anyway, um, they're not short. You could argue this is the time you need to be short. Uh, we shall see. We'll take a look at the S&P chart in a second. First, we are. Uh, I'm going to look at this dollar max just focused on this 2150 don't really know what to do with it we're obviously not going to touch it in Europe we need uh, Mexico City uh, up and awake and New York City up and awake to really get stuck in on that uh, but we are watching this 2150 area very very important makes no sense uh, especially with oil plunging oils at 39 bucks here could not get out of its own way yesterday um, just sitting down here at the lows oil so anyway dollar max we're looking at that 50 area even though it doesn't make any sense uh, we just want to see how it trades down there if you're bullish you want to buy in front if you're bearish um, you probably want to wait for it to break uh, break 50 let's go to um, dollar czar our old favorite friend here's the trend line um, knocking on it obviously 55 we saw a big clearing name buying down there last week it was so offered very confusing have a look at the dailies big down big up big down big up medium down medium down medium up it's sort of up down up down up down you wouldn't call that very trendy these lines here are actually quite interesting if you look at them from a distance or if you look at them on the four hourly chart um, we'll see just watching at this point uh, we had some entries up at uh, 81 and a half but now we're just in watch mode looks like we're gonna have a quiet uh, certainly European morning today so we're not gonna get super stuck in I guess uh, South African GDP is on on tap so we want to watch that can't imagine that could be good um, we'll see dollars are a bit confusing euro boy she looks like she wants to go lower doesn't it doesn't she and you know the the market is long the big point is 117.08 we talked about that yesterday here's a here's a little chart that a lot of people are going to draw left shoulder head right shoulder it's a pattern that people like out there in FX. 117.76 is the neckline. We'll see. I'm not really, not really super enthused on that. Let's see how the morning goes. I expect a quiet one. Uh, one of the reasons euro is going down is this whole Brexit sort of stalemate. Cables getting slashed. People are pretty short cable and pretty bearish already. I'd be. I'm a little bit skeptical about getting bearish cable here. In the bigger picture of things, 
gets interesting below 13060. Surely it'll be support there first time, uh, and then maybe some consolidation. Uh, but no dog in the cable fight. But the Brexit, the Brexit bravado from Boris, creating some selling pressure. Dollar Swiss crawling out of the cellar. Some clear air above, sort of 92 cents. Um, can't believe 90 held like such a bitch. Wow. Amazing. Anyway, uh, this looks like she wants to go higher. Kind of just tracking Euro dollar. Uh, if you're long at 90, stick with that. We are not long at 90. We are still short at 98. Uh, from months back but that's also you know got to be careful with our dollar Swiss because we're also hedging um, revenue right I live in Switzerland get some revenue in dollars I'm always a seller of dollar Swiss anyway enough said about that dollar yen not doing anything kind of stuck here sort of broken record -y type deal um, These are the dailies, doji, indecision, doji. Three days in a row, this thing does not know where it wants to go, but the longer this thing sort of dojis or is indecisive, the more powerful the move will be when it does decide. 107.05 is the big top range. 105.20 is the big bottom range. In between, you would argue that this bar here is the most important, 106 the figure versus 106.56. Dollar yen is lurking uh, but doing nothing for now. Euro yen feels like she wants to go lower. Uh, 125 and a quarter is important. Take a look at ES here. Here's your here's your line. This is the line that everyone drew after the fact. Armchair quarterback, all that shit. Um, the reason we drew it is because it's just a reminder that a lot of people are looking at this line. Um, so a lot of people are saying we held here because of this low on August 20th and this trend line. So through this line, uh, there will be some people throwing in the towels. This looks like to me it's a sell on rally. The problem with it is... Um, risk reward now right so if you're tactically trading this you can't really leave a stop above 3580 and then if you're if you're putting on a directional trade sure um, but now you got to leave you know you're leaving 150 or 130 handle stop um, you know, you got to sit tight and wait for 2,900, wait for 2,800, and even 2,500 for take profit. So your math has to work out. Anyway, gold waiting. She also looks like she wants lower. Um, 119.09, we're watching that. Should be some risk below that, and then should be a lot of risk below 118 below 1873 this goes lower if equities collapse ironically um, sort of liquidation mode Bitcoin just dicking around down here uh, we suggest buying some Bitcoin uh, not a lot it's just a tech stock this is not a currency this is a tech stock uh, but we like Bitcoin higher not much else to say really uh, not super getting super stuck in on anything here we are watching some of these key levels uh, watching these technical lines in czar we're watching this head and shoulders in euro dollar um, keeping our eye on stocks gonna be a quiet morning here um, in Europe but today's the day that all of New York comes back from the Hamptons and the summer's over uh, so we're, we'll expect a little bit of extra energy at the open today in the stock market, and we'll try and take our cues from there. That's all I got for you today. 
Uh, I wish you uh, luck and profit out there, people who are playing this game. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.